Hello, this is Paul Finley for Lone Star School of Music, one of the guitar instructors here. And I do teach tenor banjo, mandolin, um, Native American flute and bass as well. So this lesson here is for the wonderful world of improvising solos. This means you're making it up as you go along. Some of the famous guys for that in particular, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, um, anyone, well jazz specifically is built upon the improvisation and you know, not knowing where the song is gonna be going or for how long. So um, to begin with here, I'm gonna introduce a new scale. So in a previous video, we did the minor pentatonic and this is called the blues scale, which only has one more note that's added to it, two as far as oh, when you're playing through the whole scale, but the theory of it, there's only one more note. And um, so we're going to go through that here. It's again, in the key of E, and we're at the 12th fret. There is the added extra note. And again, the added extra note. And then this is just like the minor pentatonic scale. And again, descending. The new note. new note. So that's our blues scale in the key of E, again 12th fret. So using the rhythm track video of Green Onions, we're going to keep using this riff. It's a great riff just to go and go on. And that rhythm track video, um, these scales are meant to be practiced over that rhythm track. Either the written solo, which I did in the previous solo, or pre previous video, and uh, then this one is just to improvise. So the whole deal with soloing, improvising, is phrasing. Oh, phrasing, phrasing, lovely phrasing. That's what makes one individual uh, player sound different from another, and so on. Phrasing is like thought processes or communication. So when you're playing, you are literally communicating. You are speaking through your instrument. And you just don't, you know, say a bunch of things coming at you with um, an erratic form. There is a, a pattern, a rhythm to it. A great uh, preacher, a great speaker, orator, they have a way of, you know, saying points and then stopping. Being quiet, being loud, energetic, and then coming down. Soloing is the same way. So in the previous video we did, that's a great little phrase, and I repeat it. Because you're trying to relate to whatever you just started with. Just, those are just two different notes, very simple. And now you can double up on a note. You can add three notes. And again, I'm just using the first string. Adding little things. So you're evolving the conversation. Again, look at a sentence or a paragraph structure. You have a sentence and then that introductory sentence. The next sentence carries on the thought of the first and it begins to develop. You will have periods. You will have commas, and then eventually, boom, a paragraph. And then another paragraph, another paragraph. And then that story is evolving through each paragraph. And uh, so now I'm going to improvise here um, using something similar from the first or the previous video of that written solo using the Green Onions rhythm track. And again, this is just one time through. Now I can change it.
Very simple. All right? So now I'm just using two strings. I don't want you to get in the habit of being stuck on one string or one area of the scale. You'd, you'd be amazed at how much difference, say, if you're playing on the lower strings for a while, and then you jump up. Ah, that's a breath of fresh air. It's just lovely. You're like, aha, we have more. And you want to use everything uh, within your capabilities here. And so I'm just going to play through here uh, the rest of the video. I'm just going to exemplify what you can do with this minor pentatonic and the blues scale over that Green Onions rhythm track. And again, that video is there for you just to blow on. Go, go, and go. So thank you so much. This is Paul Finley, and uh, happy guitar playing.